Hi, podcast listeners. My name is Wendell. I was part of a six-member group from Bethel who traveled in April to help Agape International Mission, abbreviated AIM, open a restoration home for human trafficking victims. This home will function similarly to the ministry that AIM has in Cambodia by providing a safe haven and restoration care for those girls who have gone through unimaginable trauma and abuse. I have two key takeaways from my trip that I would like to share with you. The first is the joy that comes with building God's kingdom. For the restoration home construction work, we tore out rotten parts of the building and rebuilt with new, installed railings to keep children safe, made weathered wood look new, and we built up and encouraged tired staff. We even met and prayed with members from another U.S. church that came to Belize to build God's kingdom. Most importantly, each day we could see God's guiding hand in all this and feel his presence. These experiences filled us with joy. In Mark 6, Jesus sends out the 72 on their mission to spread the gospel. And when they returned, they were filled with joy. I think people going on a mission trip will feel God's presence and be filled with joy in a similar way. Secondly, my trust of God deepened. Our planning for the GO mission began as a construction-oriented trip, and construction is something I love to do, and this job seemed a perfect fit for me. As plans finalized, the construction aspect of the mission seemed to just fade away. A week out and construction was replaced with the objective of building relationships with the AIM staff in Belize. This was an emotional roller coaster for me because I wasn't sure what a mission to build relationships entailed and I didn't know how I would contribute. Fortunately, we had great leadership. With encouraging words, my attitude turned around and I was no longer focused on construction. But once we arrived in Belize, I was overjoyed to find out that there was real construction work to be done. But God had an unexpected adventure in store for me. I was assigned to go with A.T. Holder, Ames Belize director, and buy supplies and tools. We went from one building supply in one small town to another in different small towns, trying to find our supplies. In the process, we crossed hills and valleys, met A.T.'s church friends in one of the Mennonite community, crossed a river in a small two-car ferry, all the while having wonderful conversations about all sorts of things. The trip was really God's time to teach me about relationship building. Based on my GO trip to Belize, I think that if you sign up for a GO trip, God will show up during your trip and you will be changed by that experience. So why are you waiting to go? Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.